Now you've solved equations before, but you haven't solved in equations. Now they're very, very similar. There's just one small difference that you need to keep an eye on. So first of all, solving equations, that's an equation and you can see that I've solved it. It's called an equation because it has an equal sign. When we deal with in equations, they don't have equal signs. They have inequation sounds or inequalities. So 2x plus 5 is less than 7. We're told that in the first line and we're solving it, and then we find out that x is less than one. And if we wanted to, we could plot that on a number line, x is less than one. Now, this is all good working. I've solved this in equation. And you might be thinking you can stop the video here because solving in equations are exactly like solving equations, but they're not. There is one tiny little thing you need to look out for. Now, I want to demonstrate why the tiny thing you need to look out for is a problem. So, let's come up with an inequality. We're going to say that uh, 1 is less than 2. I think we can all agree on that. Now, remember that solving equations is just operating on both sides. So, let's operate on both sides of this equation. Let's say 1 plus 1 is less than 2 plus 1. So, I've just added 1 to both sides, which means that 2 is less than 3 the inequality is still true. This was true, one is less than two is true, two is less than three is also true. Uh, let's operate on both sides. Let's multiply both sides by something. Two times uh, four is less than three times four, uh, and that's eight is less than 12. This inequality is still true. So I've added things, I've multiplied things, that's true. Uh, let's uh, subtract from both sides. So let's do uh, 8 minus 6 is less than 12 minus 6. And that's going to be uh, 2 is less than 6. And that is still true. 2 is less than 6. And finally, uh, let's divide both sides. Let's divide both sides by 2. Um, 2 divided by 2 is less than 6 divided by 2, which is 1 is less than 3, which is still true. So it feels like all of the operations are going to work. And of course, you're probably guessing that I've got a trick. So I've taken my 1 is less than 3 and I've brought it up to here. And now let's multiply it by negative 2. 1 times negative 2 is less than 3 times negative 2. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Less than 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 2 is less than negative 6. If we draw this on a number line, this is the number negative 2. The number negative 6 is over here somewhere. This is 0. Negative 2 is larger than negative 6. This is not true. Suddenly I went from true, 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 not true. So there was something about this multiplying by negative 2 that caused a problem. Not only does multiplying by negatives, uh, negative 2 cause a problem, but if I divide by, say, negative 3, I'll end up with negative 1 third is less than negative 1. And if I draw that on a number line, 0 here, negative 1 here, and negative 1 third here, you can see negative 1 third is larger than negative one. So this is not true either. So there were two things that broke my inequality. Multiplying or dividing by a negative breaks inequalities. Now, why do they break inequalities? Well, to see, let's look at what happens. We've got two is less than three. The number two is less than the number three, and we can all agree on that. Now, if I take these numbers and multiply them by Let's multiply them both by negative 2, and we know that's going to break it. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 is less than 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. That's broken. That's a problem. That's awful. So why? What's, what's happening? Well, when you multiply by a negative on this number line, what it looks like is taking this number and making a little rainbow, rotating it and it comes over to here, to negative two. But this time we didn't just multiply it by negative one, we multiplied it and then multiplied it. So we multiplied it by negative one and doubled it and we ended up over here at negative four. So we moon and back over to here. That's our new spot, negative four. This three, rainbow, 
and over to here, negative 6. And you can see what's happening. When they go through this rainbow situation, they swap sides. They stop being one less than the other, and now the other one is less than the other one. They flipped, and that's what we can do to solve this problem. The big important part of this video, to solve this problem, flip the inequality when multiplying or dividing by a negative. So what does it look like in practice? We have an inequality here, five minus two X is less than seven. The first thing I'm gonna do is subtract five from both sides, negative two X, is less than seven minus five, um, which means that negative two X is less than two. Notice I don't have to do anything weird. This is exactly what you do with an inequality because I'm not multiplying or dividing by a negative. Now here, what am I gonna do? I'm going to divide by negative two, alarm bells. I'm gonna divide by a negative, dividing by negative and something bad's gonna happen. All right, so if I divide negative two X by negative two, I'll have X. If I divide two by negative two, I'll have negative one. But because I've divided by a negative, I need to flip the inequality. So, it looks a little bit strange, but it's because of this dividing by a negative that that inequality needs to swap because the left hand, the left hand side and the right hand side have undergone that rotation from positive to negative. But just remembering to flip that sign, that's gonna solve all of your problems. One more example here just to get your brain working. Three minus two X divided by negative five is greater than, or greater than or equal to four. All right, first step, multiply both sides by negative five, which is gonna mean that the inequality flips because I'm multiplying by a negative. So we get three minus two X is less than or equal to four times negative five, which is negative 20. The inequality flipped. Adding three to both sides, negative two X is less than or equal to negative 20 minus three, which is negative 23. Just work over here so you can see what I'm doing. And the final step here is gonna to be to divide by negative two. And if I'm dividing by a negative, I'm gonna to have to flip that inequality again. So negative two X divided by negative two is X. And that inequality is going to flip for a second time and we get negative 23 divided by negative two, which is the same as 23 over two. So you can see the inequality has flipped twice there, but that's because I multiplied by a negative and then I divided by a negative. Now, interestingly, you would have ended up at the right answer if you didn't know any of this, if you just kept it the same as it was the whole time, but you would have been wrong, right? This wouldn't have made any sense. This wouldn't have made any sense. These inequalities would have been incorrect. All right. That is solving inequations.